Christ. Good morning to everyone, especially to those who are joining us by uh, Facebook live streaming in this worship. One of the uh, favorite subjects of the early uh, Christian art is the image of Jonah, one being swallowed by a fish and wasn't in the belly of the fish for uh, three days. And you find this, for example, in the catacombs in Rome. So if you have uh, the opportunity to go, you find you can visit this one of the catacombs in Rome. is under the uh, curatorship of our society, the Society of the Divine Word. No. And uh, you find here in these catacombs depictions of early Christian arts, and one of them is precisely that of Jonah. This is the place of burial of Christians. This is among the other figures, uh, paintings uh, that decorate the, the, uh, the burial places of Christians. The popularity of Jonah's image in the catacombs and in the Christian art must have been influenced by the reference Jesus made regarding Jonah's sign in today's gospel. No other sign will be given to it. I mean to the generation who asked for a sign except the sign of Jonah. Later generations of Christians and later interpretations of the sign of Jonah to be referring to the very mystery of Christ's dying, burial, and resurrection. So when Christians need use the image of Jonah in their places of burial, it was a veiled way or concealed way of expressing their belief in the resurrection, in the resurrection of Christ and their own future resurrection. So when Jesus said that only the sign of Jonah will be given, in effect, he was saying that the greatest sign for all generations is his own dying and rising again, which was foreshadowed precisely in the very experience of Jonah in the belly of the fish and his life after that uh, he preached for the conversion of the Ninevites. His life, words, preaching, ministry, and ultimately the suffering and death and resurrection of Christ. In other words, his person and ministry are the greatest sign for humankind to see and experience the greatest expression of his love for humanity by giving us his only son that we may have life and life to the full. And that sign of his presence was missed precisely by his contemporaries. And because that love and salvation is accomplished already, that the so-called sign of Jonah or Christ's Paschal mystery, that we continue to celebrate Jesus' dying and rising also through sacramental signs, especially the Eucharist. Maybe this is also one of the uh, temptations, of, or maybe if we are not careful that we miss also the sign, like the generations of 
Jesus uh, during the time of Jesus the humble signs of bread and wine the sign of the word proclaimed the prayer that is prayed the sign of the gathering of the church these are all signs of Christ's presence among us and if we are not careful we may miss also these signs of Christ's presence in our midst precisely through these humble signs of bread and wine in the Eucharist and the presence of each one in the assembly where Christ is present and would like to express his love, his concern for us through these signs. Do not expect that Christ will appear as he appeared 2,000 years ago. He employs precisely these signs to accompany us in our journey. May we not be like uh, the contemporaries of Jesus who missed to see the sign of his presence among them. And may we see his strong presence in our lives through the signs we have in the church and in the world. Christ's presence among us. Amen.